Okay, this is a series of short videos just to assist you with preparing for assessment task two, uh, year 12 PDHPE 2020. Uh, a few people have been asking some relevant questions and I think this is the best way to do it because you can move through it at your own speed. So I'm gonna start from question 11. Uh, you have to choose a sport, identify the dominant energy system used. So understand that all sports people are using all energy systems all the time but you are generally using one more than the other two relatively. Um, so the dominant energy system might be the aerobic energy system, or it might be one of the anaerobic energy systems like the lactic acid system or the ATP PC system. You should know the other names for those by now. Uh, you have to give the sources of fuel for that system. You can look back in your notes for that. So either the sources of fuel for the aerobic system, the sources of fuel for the lactic system, or the sources of fuel for the alact acid system. And the approximate duration of the system, that is, how long can that system uh, function efficiently at producing adenosine triphosphate, ATP, uh, before it fatigues? And those for your three marks. Uh, is this going to let me move down? Yep. Um, explain how strategies to manage anxiety and enhance motivation may improve performance in this sport. So it's going to be the same sport. Uh, and I'm going to turn you back to your book. Uh, your, uh, what colour is it? Uh, your book, page 44 from last topic. If you go to page 44, you'll see strategies to enhance motivation and managing anxiety. So we can talk about concentration and attention skills. That is, uh, your sports person in whatever sport they are in can concentrate on the things that they need to concentrate on. They may need to concentrate on multiple things within their sport and pay attention just to the things that they need to pay attention to. Sorry, that's my phone going off. Uh, and what do we do to the other things? We block out the irrelevant cues. So you might choose that as one of your strategies. Another strategy, mental rehearsal, visualization, imagery. So your sports person might decide to enhance motivation and manage anxiety by going over the skills in their mind. They can do this to practice old skills, learn new skills, be confident, feel what the experience is going to feel like. Uh, moving on now to page 46, I can use some relaxation techniques. Now, I'm not going to go through these in detail. You need to look back at your pages. If you don't have your book at home, they uh, there is a copy of it in Canvas. Uh, so we can talk about relaxation. We can talk about biofeedback, paying attention, using heart rate monitors and such to pay attention to your body. You can use hypnosis. You can talk about centered breathing. Um, another way we could go is with goal setting that is on page 47. Your athlete could enhance motivation and manage anxiety by setting realistic goals. All right, so those are the options for that one. I'm not sure if that page change came up or not. And 13, yeah. justify the importance of one aspect of nutrition to this sport. So once again, we're talking about the same sport. Now I've given you some hints down here. Um, you only need to deal with one of these. You could talk about hydration. So how does hydration assist your sports person? Uh, you can't just say drinking water will rehydrate the athlete. You've got to say why hydration is important. What will it allow? Will it allow thermoregulation? Will it in allow uh, proper digestion of carbohydrates? What will it allow? Um, transport of nutrients, etc. You could talk about uh, vitamins and minerals. So you could talk about what does iron do for my athlete? What does protein do for my athlete? What do carbohydrates do for my athlete? What does calcium do for my athlete? Or you can just go with some of these macronutrients. Sorry, I said carbohydrates over here, didn't I? Yeah, that's meant to be just vitamins and minerals. Iron, calcium, sodium, my mistake. Come back over here. Uh, we're talking macro, macronutrients. So what do carbohydrates do for my athlete? What do proteins do for my athlete? What do fats do for my athlete? Make sure you're specific to your sport and you can use an example there if you want. Okay, I don't want to make this one too long. I'll do another video for the next question.